Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured since a lot of us are staying at home, I would do a Shop My Stash series and talk about some of my favorites in different categories. So today I'll be focusing on my favorite affordable cool tone palettes. Now a lot of these do have a couple of warm tones mixed in. Very few of them are 100% cool toned, but I did try to find ones that have at least more than half cooler tone shades in them. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video and get started. First up, we have the Pixie Beauty Eye Reflection Palette in Natural Beauty. This is a beautiful cool tone palette that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. It has a couple of warm tones in it, but it's mostly cool with pretty taupes, rosy shades, and cool browns. The formula is very, very soft and nicely pigmented as well. Next up, we have the C Color Cosmetics Feverish Palette. This is an exact dupe of the Sultry Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I love the formula of this one even more than that one because it's less crumbly and powdery. So this is one of my most used palettes, and while there are a couple of warm tones in here, I really love the grays, taupes, and that pop of coral. It's such a pretty palette. And then we have the e.l.f. Earth and Ocean palette. This one is filled with gorgeous, cooler-toned blues, grays, and greens with a couple of complimentary warm tones. The formula is fantastic on this one as well. I did a video on it a while back where I did seven different looks with this, so I'll leave that linked above in case you'd like to check that out. But this is another favorite palette of mine. Another awesome palette if you like blues is the Sapphires palette from Profusion. This one is only $5 and it has an amazing pigmented formula with stunning cool tone blues and turquoise. And it has just a pop of warm brown and copper that I feel complement those blue tones really beautifully. Next up, we have a gorgeous palette from Collab Beauty, which is exclusive to Sally Beauty stores. This one not only has those cooler gray tones in it, but it also has gorgeous greens. It has a beautiful duochrome shade in it as well. Plus, the formula is amazing on these little palettes. It's so soft and pigmented, really easy to blend. Overall, just a fantastic formula. I also like that they're easy to travel with. They're nice small palettes. This next one is another one of my absolute favorite palettes and one of my most used in my entire collection. It's the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. It has the prettiest soft, cooler toned neutrals and also a formula that's one of the best at the drugstore. This one's actually getting harder and harder to find since Milani seems to be discontinuing it. So don't wait to grab this one if you like the look of it. It's definitely worth it in my opinion. Another palette that I reach for really often is the Beach Cosmetics Love in London palette. This one does have a couple of warm tones in it, but it also has some of the prettiest cool tone blues, purples, and taupes. It also has a soft, buttery formula that is super easy to blend. And the metallic shades are also super intense in this one, giving you a really shiny, foiled looking eye. Next up, ColourPop's Flutter By palette is another gorgeous cool toned option, especially if you're not really into those blues and grays like a lot of the other cool tone palettes have. It has a gorgeous range of rosy toned lavenders and dusty pinks mixed with a few neutrals. It creates just super soft feminine looks, which are definitely some of my favorites. Another cool toned option from ColourPop is the Making Mauves palette. This one's really similar to Flutter By, so if you already have that one, you probably don't need to grab this one, but I think the formula of this one is just slightly better, and it also doesn't have that pressed glitter, so if you stay away from those, this might be a better option for you. And then last but not least, we have the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Smoky Neutrals. This one has a cool tone mix of taupes, grays, blues, and icy pinks. And I love that it doesn't have a lot of darker shades, so there's a ton of usable shades for my fair skin tone in this one. I also really like the Reloaded palettes overall. They're only $7, and I think they're a really good formula for the price. Alright guys, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you'd like to see more of these quick Shop My Stash videos, please let me know that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to tap that subscribe icon down in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!